Today I'm going to be talking about something that could be really interesting and useful for people who are Rode VideoMic users, such as myself. I was looking on the Canon HV20 forums and I found a post by a guy named Bo and what he was talking about is this DIY project. It's not even really DIY, it's just replacement rubber bands for the Rode video mic. And the cool thing about this is that you could pick up this pack of O-rings and 10 of them come in this package, giving you two extras. Whereas if you bought the real pack of Rode video mic suspension rubber bands, you only get eight in the pack and it costs like $12. These O-rings are made for plumbing applications and they're much stronger and they're gonna last a lot longer and you get two extra. And the whole pack is only $2.50 after tax. In my experience, the Rode VideoMic suspension system can be a little squeaky. You really don't want this to happen in a situation where you've got one chance to record your audio and you get it home, you get on your computer, you're in your editing program and you realize that they're squeaking during the audio. And this would usually only happen during handheld shots or, or whatever, if you're using a shoulder rig or something like that, where you're moving side to side, causing that squeak. I actually prefer these over the stock road rubber bands. And for this price, how could you go wrong? In the post by Bo, he said to look for number 16. Um, and I believe that the brand was different than these, but this is the only brand that Lowe's had when I went to it. And these are Danco and they're number eight. And they seem to have pretty much the same dimensions, except for they are a little bit different in one area. They work fine for me, but I would recommend going with the ones that Bo recommended first, since he said that they, are, that they fit really perfect. So um, the cool thing about these is they're so cheap. So if you're unsure or if you have a different microphone than the Rode, you can go and pick up two or three different kinds for 250 each, try them out and see which ones work on your camera the best and return the rest um, back to the store. And they come in these little packages, so they're you know, they're not sealed or anything that you would have to tear up. So it'd be really easy for the store to just put it back on the shelf and um, sell them to somebody else who needs that specific size. So, so you're not hurting anybody by trying them out and returning the ones that don't fit. Here's what the microphone looks like with the O-rings instead of the regular road rubber bands. And here's what the regular road rubber bands look like. As you can see, the O-rings are a little beefier and they're stronger. I'm gonna try these out for a while and see what I think from just testing it out. Right here, I feel like these are a lot stronger and less likely to break. Thanks a lot to hv20.com user Bo for this tip. I really appreciate it. it Save me 10 bucks and I've got some beefier bands on my suspension on my mic now. Beefy. So you might be wondering why I got a tip from a HV20 forum when I use DSLR cameras. Well, they actually have a lot of really useful DIY information on this forum, I really recommend it. Um, and a lot of the stuff is universal to all kinds of video instead of just DSLR, so I would check it out. It's at hv20.com. You can find all kinds of cool tips and different tricks that people are doing, DIY follow focus, DIY everything. If you have any questions or if you found a different size of O-ring that works good for your Rode video mic or for a different microphone, Post it in the comments below. I'd love to see those and help other people out. I want to spread the word that you can buy these cheap O-rings in the plumbing department of your hardware store and save a little bit of money on your camera gear. Rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, if you found it useful. And I will see you later. Peace. The incandescent bulb is hot. You forget how hot incandescent bulbs are until you start using them again. That's why everyone should go green.